Welcome back everybody to The Witcher 3 and we are currently working through a quest to find out what is happening with this Vivian um, Countess. I don't really know what her title is actually, I can't remember. Um, we've, um, we've found some clues, um, so it's very clear there's something magical to do with her, um, but we don't know whether she's a monster or if she's been cursed as um, this guy suspects. Now, we, the reason I want to pause menu is because I'm supposed to be following her now, and if I wasn't in a pause menu, she would get away and I wouldn't be able to find her, I think. I don't know, but I'd rather not risk it. I already lost one of the tournament's um, challenges, unfortunately, so there's... Hopefully two out of three will be enough. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Right, with that said, as per usual, if you guys have been enjoying this series so far, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't and I will keep these coming for you. Um, and with that said, let's do this. Oh, okay, so I didn't need to follow. Hold on, there's another... Oh no, this is the same end, is it? Yes. Yeah, the Butcher of Black, and I've got another name. My name is Geralt. Not Vivian. Ooh, this is not gonna go well, is it? Sure, I'd find her here. Vanished, melted into thin air. And that bird, she a Bruxa? Flew off. Worth going after. Looks like the bird's leaving me somewhere. The golden oriole. Oh come on, get out of the water, Gary. You're gonna lose her otherwise. See it. Those wolves. And that's not a wolf. What is that? Panther. If I didn't know any better, I would say this bird is actually... Oh, there it goes again. How nice of this panther to not come for me. Very nice. Over the hill. Might be quicker to pass through the cave. What cave? Oh no, there's a cave here. What the hell 
that's it. This is a better quest for Nice. Oh, uh, well. Oh, my armor is actually better. What do you mean? <laughs> okay, that's a plot twist. Okay, so we need to go that way, but I do wonder what's this way. That thing was only level 35. Must be here somewhere. What did I say? Oh, there she is. Is that her? Witcher. Lady Vivian? Counted on me getting lost. I did. I thought you no different from the knights. Good at tourneys, hopeless in the face of true danger. I was mistaken. So you're not actually a Bruxa? A what? Suspicion I had that you might be a vampire. Certain details seemed to confirm it. Then I changed my mind. Anyway, unimportant. Here you come to this clearing often. This is where it all began. And as I was not able to evade you, save myself from you, then I want it done here. In this very spot, with no witnesses. Want what done? While you are a witcher, you were hired to kill me, were you not? No. Then do so, now. And do it quickly, I beg you. I shan't resist. Witchers only hunt monsters. And even then, not all. You're no monster. Then what am I to your eyes? <laughs> Most likely you've been cursed. Don't know who by or why yet, but hope to find that out soon. If you've no contract on my life, why take an interest at all? Did Guillaume put you up to it? Is that why? He wanted to help you. Asked me to do him a favor. Frankly, if I can do something for you, I'll do it, willingly. Why should I trust you? Because the Duchess trusts me? Because I'm a freak, too? Because cases like yours are my bread and butter. Take your pick. You shall not turn on me. Use what I say against me. You shall not tell anyone? You got nothing to fear. Came here to help you. And I won't peep a word to anyone, unless I decide it's absolutely necessary. Ah, uh, so be it. I shall tell you what my mama once told me. When she was with child, expecting me, 
she and my father spent much time together near the wood, here in this clearing. Mama loved to listen to the Orioles sing. She would stroke her belly and say, My daughter should be as beautiful as that bird. Such is my wish. Mm. But a creature dwelt in the wood who envied my parents their happiness. One day it appeared before them to say the whole wood belonged to it. And they had dared to delight in something that was not theirs. It demanded payment. And when my parents said that they had nothing, he claimed their unborn daughter as its own. Parents ever described the creature? They called it a nymph born of the deep woods, with no mother or father. But I was too young, too distraught by the curse's onset to ask after details. What happened after that? Nothing at first. I came into the world a perfectly normal child, and my parents forgot that day's events. But 15 summers into my life, the curse began to show. Initially only when the moon was full, but now it's advanced so that even in daytime I must use magic ointment to mask its symptoms, to look normal. Thus I thought someone had discovered my secret, then hired you to kill me. In fact, I was resigned to death in coming here. Perhaps death would be preferable to my complete and permanent transformation. For I fear that is what lies in store. The curse. It could be reversible. Once ran into a baron transformed into a cormorant, ostensibly for good. Managed to cure him completely. And you truly think you could do something like this for me? Can't guarantee a thing. Tough case, yours. You were cursed before birth. That alone complicates things. Also, you claim the curse is increasing its hold. Symptoms are progressing. Could try transferring the curse onto someone else. What? Out of the question. I shall not allow it to ruin an innocent life. Is this the only method you know? Only one that's completely safe. So there is another. All right, there is another. Ancient ritual. We'd need an Oriole egg. Should release the curse's grip permanently. Gotta warn you, though. Could have serious consequences. Consequences? What kind? Curse was cast before you came into this world. Ritual involved transferring it to an as yet unhatched chick. You'd be free. Thing is, you could be left with the average lifespan of an Oriole. Seven years. I understand. Alas, every rose has its thorn, and there are no happy endings. Yet truth be told, I never thought I would get one. I came here prepared to die, yet you wish to give me seven years of life. Real life, free life. This is no dilemma. I agree wholeheartedly. I see why. I understand. Don't have to decide just yet. Think it through. I will. They must miss me at the tawny grounds by now. Shall we return? Yeah, let's do it. Let's. But are you gonna... Ah, uh, yes. I cannot appear there all in feathers. Pardon me for a moment. some uh, good water there. You can change it, Will? No, but I discovered the water of this pool helps. Its effects are brief, but I can always be sure of them. Hmm, interesting. Come.
Well, I can't really... I do... I have some memory of this quest, but I can't remember exactly how it ends. And I thought it was longer than this, so... Did you learn anything? Yeah. Then speak, man. Can you not see I'm out of my mind with worry? What ails her? She asked me not to talk about it. But I want only the best for her. Perhaps I shall be able to help or... No. Nope. I don't know. Console her at the least. I'm not, not gonna tell Vivian gave me the details of her situation, but she did so in confidence. Promised I wouldn't tell anyone. But I'm not just anyone. Why, I would do anything for her. I was the one to ask you to help her. You cannot shut me out now. I'm sorry. Look, in time, Vivian will come to understand what she owes you. I'm sure of it. But until then, you gotta understand the whole world doesn't revolve around you. Ooh. How dare you lecture me? This is not the aid I sought. And to think I gave up my spot in the tourney to you, I regret it now. Do you even intend to compete to the end? Or now that you've bound Vivian to your terms, you no longer see the need? I don't back out of anything. I'll take part in the last skirmish. Besides, Vivian will be busy till the tourney's end. Indeed. In that case, you must meet the other knights of your team. They await near the arena's entrance by the training ground. Got it. Thanks. Right. He didn't take that very well, did he? I could have told him, but then what would that achieve? He will probably then just do something foolish to try it in the, in the guise of trying to help her. And then I'd probably have to save him from I know now the two way. team's rosters. I shall be captain of ours. That means you shall do as I say for the duration of the fight. Is this clear? Palmer and Alonful will lead the opposing team. With this skirmish, we commemorate the Battle of Fox Hollow of 1218, when a hands of southern outlaws led by Haller the Brown attacked Tucson only to be driven off by brave knights, thus setting a precedent. Since that day, knights errant have guarded the Duchy's borders. Palmerin drew the short straw, so his team shall play the barbarian Haller's men. Any questions? None. If you swing your blade as deftly as you shoot, we shall win. Good luck. It is time, gentlemen. Take your weapons and proceed to the arena. Okay. So it was like a five on five fight. A cheer for the knights, the ladies, the lords. For our next entertainment, the team shall cross swords. Oh, two rifle really crews, two coteries shall fight, full tilt, till one dropped to its knees. <laughs> Whose virtue ignores, or lance blows unclean, shall forever be branded as shameful, obscene. While the knights prepare, let me say I'm elated to behold such a crowd on edge, breath baited. Whoever here that. wins, the past champion shall face. All others must leave, heads bowed in disgrace. Let us begin! Clout, race a ruckus! Blood, sweat and tears shall soon follow in bucket. Let us end this, you and I! Down. 
Never seen a fight quite so glorious. For showing such verve, each knight was victorious. Yet in Tony's as in life, but one champion may reign. Today he is the one. Praised be his name. He felt a whole host slew the most. Palmer in the Longfall and Gregoire de Gorgon. Two knights of high valor shall fight to be champion. Oh. Noble seraphic shall not stand in La Belle. Though hopes he raised high, a victory short, he fell. To the tired remainder, we salute your endeavors. Return to your wives, your loves, your whomevers. Oh, does that mean I lost? my lady have you decided I have I stand by all I have said I wish to endanger no one and thus choose the method involving an egg if it's to be the egg of an Oriole I know where to find one there is a nest in my clearing might you explain the nature of the ritual its exact course sure but seems your tense grown ears show yourself Guillaume can hear you breathing, and I know damn well it's you. Why are you here, sir? This is a private audience. Geralt, what is the meaning of this? Is this some scheme you've hatched unbeknownst to me? No, no scheming involved. Guillaume hired me, but this matter relates to you, not him. Didn't invite him here in any case. Actually surprised he showed up. My lady, I live to serve you. Whatsoever you require, you need but beckon. I'm yours to command. Are you quite finished? Is that all you wish to say? I... I, I suppose so. So you shall do what I command, sir. Very well, then. Listen carefully. Leave this tent. Turn towards the Duchy's northern marches. And run. Run until the tawny grounds are no longer within sight. Return only once you've cooled off. Then leave me be forevermore. Understood? A bit harsh. My lady, but your your troubles. I, I only wish the the Witcher see Out now. You assured me I could trust you. Absolutely sure you did the right thing? Not too hasty rejecting his help? Can't conduct the ritual using your reflection without him. Needed someone who'd willingly assume the curse in your stead. And you thought I would agree to this? No, Geralt! When we spoke in the meadow, you told me of a ritual which required no lusty knights to aid us. This is the method I wish to pursue. Need to find an egg, preferably an Oriole's. Ritual itself isn't complicated, but like I said before, there'll be a side effect. Still sure you want to go through with it? Yes. I saw a nest in the clearing where we spoke. But before we go... Tell me, what will become of the chick? We'll have to break the egg. Like you said, not everyone gets a happy ending. And for a dream to come true, there must be sacrifices. Very well. 
Let us go. Oh. Interesting. Who's that other Oriole? Is that... If I recall correctly, we do end up fighting some something or somebody. I can't remember. What, I can't remember what though. Right. This is the place. Oh no! A panther's got at the nest. Stand back. I'll take care of this. <laughs> fell on a moss patch. They're fine except for one. It's cracked. Will it do? Think so. After. Sorry, birdie. Here we are. They are beautiful birds, look at that. Now what must I do? to concentrate now. Repeat after me. Muna Gandrao. Muna Finerat. Muna Gandrao. Muna Finerat. Muna Gandrao. Muna Finerat. Muana Gandrao. Muana Finerat. Seems to have worked. Damn it. Geralt, look, look. Oh, God, I shall be able to attend balls. I shall travel to Oxenfurt, to Novigrad even. Thank you, Witcher. How to thank Guillaume. He's the one hired me to help you. Yes, I am grateful to him as well, immensely. Will you tell him so for me? You should tell him yourself, don't you think? Perhaps I should, but I would prefer not to. Convey my gratitude to him in my stead. Please, be so kind. I can't tell, is she interested in him or not? Sure, I'll tell him. Farewell, Vivian. A bit dangerous now you can't fly anymore. I don't know, it would seem that we don't have to fight anything, okay. I don't know why I thought we had to fight um I I was convinced it would have been something like a grave hag. go up here and uh, cross travel. Oh, 
Watch where you stand. Uh, uh, that's my knees. There we go. I don't know why, but I thought they would end up together, those two. But judging by judging by the way she was talking, I'm not entirely sure if they will now. I pledge my love to win the turn. Geralt, what of Vivian? Managed to lift her curse. Truly? So all will be well. Her troubles are done? Vivian chose what suited her best. She's completely free now. And happy, I think. Without me. You helped her. But that doesn't mean she owes you her love. Got this bard friend. Philosopher too, I guess. Amateur. He'd say, if you love somebody, set them free. Do you know what, Geralt? You earned your reward, so take it. But keep your advice to yourself. Adieu. Okay, not quite the ending I thought we'd get, but never mind. So did we win the tourney or not? What happens if I do that? Oh my god, it actually does have markers on the map. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, that, yeah, I want to do that one next. Best behave, friend. Okay, so it is in a part of town that I've not yet been to. So, you know, I, every time I log on and start recording these parts, I always comes to mind how massive this game is. Just when you think you're getting close to the end, there's another quest to do and to be fair I could easily spend a good 30 hours more on this if I if I was started going through each of those markers on a map because there are that many oh here we go another marker and we've got a notice board to let's have a look at that we have a few contracts in there be worth looking into. Luxella V. Grandmaster Armorer, there we go. Is that a... It's an escort. Is that a side quest? Goodness, look how many. It must be. Find the Grandmaster Smith Lafarge so you can make use of his services. That's something yes. I do often, but might be worth investigating. Just want to check the map. I did see a merchant here somewhere. Right there, actually. Alchemy supplies. And there's a inn here as well. Those shops, I think I've been to those. Have I been to those? You have the exquisite head. There we are. We'll probably have Gwent Whoa. as well. Yeah, I don't really want to chat. Yeah, he's got Gwent. Shump.
this. Patient clearance, not five of them. Patient of restoration returns all the ability points spent developing mutations to the pool so you can reallocate them. What's the difference? Hmm. Okay. Oh, hello, what's this? That's a mutagen transmutator. I see. Oh, didn't want that. I think this is to convert uh, mutagen, so. different. Oh, I see. Ah, so if we had Rubido and went to Cherry, we can now make red mutagens. That's interesting. We need um, Redanian Herbal and Vocordia. actually sells these as well so be able to complete some potions out, out of that. Or not. We will because we can take Almost done with um, all of these. In the mood for a rep. Do it. Who's got this Calica deck? Oh, great. Really?
Okay, that's slightly better. Could have worked in his favour. Didn't look at it properly. Yeah, that's not happening. visit to this one here. Really want to be. Oh, he's got get Show me what well. you got back there. Show me what you've got back there. Meaning what exactly? It's not a lot of money. Oh, paintings. What were the paintings for? Fair, I did realize that actually quite a lot of these I can just sell because don't really need this much of that, all of that. Diamond dust. I 
might take out some of these weather cards because they just keep getting in the way. I've got four of them in the last draw, which is not cool. So keep bringing them out. Got two lovely cards here that I'd love, love to meet. Starting with that. And that. Just in case this doesn't go in my favour, and I run out of cards, he will take that round, but then I will still have a card left. Take this one unless he's got, he's got a card up his sleeve. From the school of the wolf. This is the one about Here the diagrams. Greetings. I'm Lazar Lafarg. Geralt of Rivia. Seem pretty enthused. Got a job for me? Rather. Mind you, it's no monster hunt, but I'm sure you'll be interested all the same. I'm an armorer, see, and I for years sought diagrams for Witcher armor of exceptional quality. Grandmaster level. Heard of him. Never seen any, though. Thought they were lost. Not quite. For I've been lucky enough to learn that their holders came to Tucson. Alas, they then perished, but I know where. I just need a partner to help me retrieve them. Okay. If you know where to look, why not get them yourself? No offense, but do I look like a rough hewn adventurer? Besides, who would serve my clients while I romped about seeking them? You no. I rather leave it to someone familiar with such matters. Bring me the diagrams, and from them I'll forge for you whatever you fancy. Okay. All these diagrams somehow wound up in Tusa. How is that even possible? Tusa was once home to Tien Sa'il, a legendary and now deceased elfin master armorer. Witches from all corners of the world came to him to forge their plate, their mail. Heard about him. Supposed to have been the best. And thus he charged a king's ransom for his work. Witches would take difficult, dangerous work to earn the coin to pay him. Some, alas, met with misfortune, and the diagrams they carried were left to rot with their earthly remains. Got it. Find them? find the diagrams, but how can I know where to look for their remains? 
As it happens, I learned my trade at Jensai inside. So I heard the stories of the missing witches firsthand. What he told me, well, that is what discouraged me from seeking the diagrams out myself. We must strike a deal. I shall tell you all I know. In return, once you found the diagrams, you will let me draft a copy. Deal. Where do I look for these diagrams? I know of five likely fallen witches, each from a different school of the wolf, griffin, cat, bear, and manticore. Manticore? Which should I start with? Oh, good as well. Tell me about my brother, the wolf. His name was Adam. I remember him well. My master liked him, helped him find a safe yet a well-paid contract. A few years ago, an archaeological expedition arrived in Tucson from Castel Gropia. They questioned my master about the elfin ruins at Termas. He warned them of the danger there and recommended they take Aton as an escort. What kind of danger did he mean? Any idea? Legend claims wraiths haunt the chambers beneath Termas. I cannot say if there is any truth to this, but both the scholars and the Witcher disappeared without a trace. The Griffin. What can you tell me about him? He came some 200 years ago, but my master remembered him well. This Witcher was not stripped of emotions, you see, as his colleagues were. He had taken on a contract at Fort Usa and required better gear. He showed my master his diagrams, paid a deposit, and was never seen again. Apparently, he rode off one night from the fort, never to return. Any idea where he went? No. It said he left in a rush, so he may have left something behind. Only ruins remain of Fort Usa, but you may wish to search them. Okay. Let's talk about the cat. Here ago, I'm going to skip this bit because we're just never going to get out of here otherwise. I just want to know where they are. School. Come on. Right. It doesn't have Gwent actually, which is very surprising. What do you have on off? Mm. Oh, it keeps getting better. Um, uh, let's have a lot of stuff. Thing is, I'm not sure whether I need the all the mastercraft levels probably so mm. right for good luck so we inadvertently I don't know why I'm every to resident what I want to do I was seeking out oh, we got treasure hunts again uh where is it Their town is hereby required to so aid the witcher in right. any way he requests. So we have plenty of quests Count now to get going sulfurous. with. And yeah, there's a lot to do, as you see here. Quite a lengthy list of quests. And we've got well we still only have one contract, but we have five different treasure hunts now. For Grandmaster level um, diagrams, so we are going to get busy with those um, a bit in the next part. Um, well, actually, in the next part we're going to go seek out this Moreau that Yennefer was talking about, um, and then we will go and seek out the diagrams and see if we can upgrade our armor even more. But before we do that, I am going to bring this part to a close, and 
and we shall continue in the next one. So with that said, as per usual, stay safe, stay safe and well everybody. And if you've enjoyed this part, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll be seeing you in the next one.